Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Schimpf with the Synchro team at Bentley. Today we're going to take a look at creating a map layer in our Synchro Pro project for reference, also creating some 3D objects that we can reference in our project as well. So first thing we want is obviously that map layer, so simply just go to any kind of mapping uh, service and locating your site, your job site on that map. Then just simply creating, taking a snippet that you can use in your pro project. Now that we have the map layer, we're going to want to go to our 3D ribbon. And at the very beginning, we have the create 3D option and we want to select textured plane. Now what we want to do is we want to give a reference of where that texture plane is going to go. We'll select our image that we just created. And then we want to keep the ratio of the selected image and then we'll keep the width. We'll call this a map layer. And then we want to create a resource out of this map layer. <clears throat> so we have the option of equipment, human, location, or material. For this one, we'll want to select location. And then the top option here is all right for this because we don't need a tree we just need the one level of this resource so as you can see here we have our map it's a little bit smaller than we need also we can see our map is a little bit high on our um, on our model here not a big deal we'll select the map layer right click and we can go edit transform so now we can use our manipulators here now I can move this up or I can move it down, get the map layer where I need it. So now you'll see this kind of hollow little box here. We're going to want to select that and now we can make our map bigger, right? So once we select the ma manipulator to move our map, it gives us a reference or we can hit escape, take a look at kind of where we're at here reposition and then we can hit edit again and I'm going to hit the top and now I want to select that box again and let's get it it looks pretty good there now when I look it looks pretty good for reference of where I want my project here. So now I have my model located on my map. Another thing we might want to do is you can see that we, we have these buildings around, right? So now we may want to create uh, some 3D objects to maybe represent these buildings uh, to help us with placement of materials, cranes, or other equipment, right? So again, we'll go to our 3D tab and then at the end of the ribbon, we have the create 3D again. So now we have the option, we can create a box, sphere, or cylinder here. We'll use a box. Now I can simply just drag, swipe up, and now I have, again, next. We just want to be a location. And now I have uh, an object representing that building that I can use for placement of cranes and planning of other uh, material drop-off stuff like that uh, that we can use as a reference. So I've created a few before the video started. So now as we see here is we have a few different objects that we can use as reference, buildings, whatever you need um, to help you with the mapping out and planning of your project within Synchro Pro. So this is how we add a map layer to your pro project and how we can create 3D objects to reference uh, within the project as well.